Hi everyone and welcome back to my tour of the Soyuz Microphone Factory. In the first video of this set of two, we saw what I'm going to refer to as the heavy lifting sections of the microphone build, turning the raw stock into the component parts of the microphone. In this video, we're going to look at how those component parts are finished and assembled to form a completed working microphone. So the first part of the, the clean room process, if you like, is to finish the capsule back plates. Here, one of the technicians is using a very, very fine tool just to go through each of the holes and make sure there's no burrs or rough edges. The back plates are then rubbed down on a special plate, which gives it an even finer, smoother finish. Now, meanwhile, in another part of the factory, an engineer is preparing the diaphragms for gold sputtering. They do their own gold sputtering at the Soyuz factory. And what you can see here is basically a three part jig being used to make the diaphragms. The frame is placed onto the table where a ring is used to secure the mylar film into the template holder. Excess is removed using a blade. And then the top of the template is screwed into place. And the mylar film is brought up to the required tension. It's then placed into the gold sputter machine. And the gold sputtering process can begin. The top is brought down and a vacuum is used to suck the air out of that particular container. An argon gas is pumped in. Then one by one, the naked diaphragms, if you like, are exposed to the beam and the gold is then transferred onto the required part of the diaphragm. This process has been sped up six times in this film, but you can slowly see the gold transfer onto the mylar. So the components from downstairs and from the preparation area are now introduced into the assembly station. The back plate is first placed onto a jig where the diaphragm is introduced and the capsule ring is placed over the top. This is very carefully lined up by a skilled technician. She uses a jig to make sure all the screws go in the right order and in the right place. Depending on the capsule being made, it could be a single diaphragm or a dual diaphragm. For the 017, we have a dual diaphragm design. Once all the screws have been placed, the outer ring of the diaphragm is removed. And that goes back into the gold sputter workshop to be replaced and reused. Now the rest of the screws can be applied and a small hole is made in the middle of the diaphragm for the connection that goes to the main mic body.
Now you can see the two diaphragms are being brought together and secured to form the 017 capsule. Meanwhile, in another part of the clean room, a technician is hand soldering the power supplies. The PCBs are made locally and this technician populates the components onto the PCB, applies flux to make the solder flow neatly and then hand solders all the components onto the board. Once the boards have been fully populated, the power supplies are built. And then finally, the microphones are assembled. The capsules are put into their housing and screwed together. Then the microphone frames are introduced to the bodies and at every stage of the process the engineers and technicians are checking for any deficiencies or errors as quality control is incredibly important to the team at Soyuz. The capsule mount is then applied to the microphone, carefully screwed together, and the body is adjusted so the logo and the front of the microphone all line up. And there we have our complete 017 microphone ready for testing. Now the testing process is something that the guys at Soyuz are very precious about. Every microphone that leaves the factory is fully tested by the team here. And as you can see, each engineer who builds or handles the microphone fills out a card and those cards go into the packaging that you receive. So you can see who did what and they're so proud of it they sign it themselves. The final station after the testing is the packaging area. Again, this is a final moment of quality control. Everything is checked and double checked. Any blemishes, scratches or marks on the microphone or any of the components we noticed and swapped out. The mic goes into its custom oak wood box and is put into the final cardboard packaging. A final chance to test the shock mount, make sure everything's secure, and it's all packaged up along with the power supply into the cardboard shipping container. As you can see everything's been signed off, all the cards are assembled as signed by the individual engineers and technicians. And it's all placed carefully into the box, ready for shipping to the next recording studio. and another Soyuz SU-017 microphone is ready for shipping to the next lucky customer. So there you go, it's the end of the day and here 
is our finished beautiful 017 Soyuz microphone. And it started life, <laughs> I can't believe I'm struggling, as this piece of stock brass. It's a beautiful thing. One of the other parts of my trip um, to Russia is tomorrow we're doing an event in Moscow and I'm really looking forward to using this microphone, this exact microphone in the recording process. So thanks to the guys here at Soyuz. Um, they've been absolutely fantastic. I've really enjoyed my time. Hopefully you've enjoyed it watching the tour and watching the process of making one of their beautiful microphones. But for now, my name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon for some more Gear Talk. <laughs>